If you run a company, should you pay yourself with a salary or with dividends? The first thing you're going to want to consider is the number of shareholders within the company, because if there's more than one shareholder, then the total amount that you're going to receive from the dividends is going to be based on the number of shares that you hold. Now, if you have multiple shareholders, one thing you can do is split those shares into different classes of shares. You can go with class A, class B, class C shares, and they can all have different rights or the same rights so that you can pay out $100,000 in dividends to class A, class B, and class C all separately so that everybody gets the same amount of total dividends regardless of the number of shares they hold. Now, when it comes to taxes and comparing salaries versus dividends, it's basically just a bunch of complicated math that ends you up in the exact same place. Here's what I mean by that. When you earn a salary at a company, that company brings in revenue and then they have to pay out their expenses. Your salary is one of those expenses. And when you receive that salary, you have to pay income tax on that salary, leaving you with net earnings. Now on the dividend side here, the company is still bringing in the same amount of revenue. They obviously have lower expenses because they're not paying you a salary, but that money that they are generating, that profit that this company generates from revenue minus expenses, it gets taxed up here and that leaves the company with net profit, which they then pay out the dividends directly to you. At this point, you then have to pay dividend tax on that money you're receiving, but the company has already paid taxes basically on the profit that it generated from the revenue minus expenses. And so when you compare the income tax from a salary to the corporate tax and the personal tax that you receive from dividends, there's usually not a whole lot of difference. Now, all of the numbers are definitely going to depend on where you live, but I can tell you that the regulators have thought about this and they have purposely made it pretty close. One thing to consider, though, is that if you're planning to get a mortgage or any type of large financing in the future, the banks will look at a salary more favorably than they will look at dividends because they see it as more consistent. So if you're debating this scenario for yourself, I wouldn't stress about it because it's not going to make a huge difference. But if you need the consistency and you have a family with regular expenses, then maybe the salary is the best option. If cash isn't really a problem for you and the business is maybe seasonal, then dividends could be a good option as well. And if you want to learn more about this, make sure to follow my page.